Hey and welcome, this is Steve from Publish Press. And if you want to improve your WordPress publishing, you should get the Publish Press plugins. In this video, I'm going to answer a question from a Publish Press user. They wanted to know if it was possible to have a series of pages. We have department A, department B, department C. Uh, their example was from a school. And they wanted to know if it was possible to have some users who are only able to access one page. So we have some users set up as well, department A user, department B user, and department C user. And what we're gonna do is connect them together. They wanted to know if this was possible in WordPress. And our answer was yes, with the Publish Press plugins. And we're going to do it with two plugins which are free to use on WordPress.org. Publish Press Capabilities, which has over 100,000 users, and also Publish Press Permissions. Both of those are free to download and install, so you can follow along with this tutorial right now. In order to see what we're doing completely, you will need to have three users set up and three pages as well. Now that we have our users and our pages set up, we're going to connect them by using a role. If you go to Capabilities, you'll see that by default, the Subscriber role is selected. This is the one we need. Subscriber has a very good basic set of permissions that will not give these users access to too much of our WordPress site. What we're gonna do is go over to the right side of the page and we're gonna copy this. And we're going to have a new role, which is called Department A. And now we can repeat that for Department B. And we will repeat that for Department C as well. So now we have three roles which are set up. And if we go to the users area, we can now put our Department A user into the Department A role. And I'm going to repeat that process for the department B user, I'm going to edit their account and change their role to department B. And one last time, I'm going to put the department C user into the department C role. And now, let me check that's all set up correctly. Okay, department A user is in department A. Department B user is in department B. Department C user is in Department C. We're good to go. I'm going to go to the pages area and I'm going to edit the Department A page. And I'm gonna scroll down and underneath it, I will see this permissions read this page area. So this is for the front end of the site. This controls who can actually view and read the page. And it's all set to yes, because we don't mind anyone coming along and reading the content of the page. It's editing that we care about. So I'll minimize that box for now, and now edit this page. This is what we really care about. By default, the administrator and people in the editor role are able to edit this page. We may want to change this to blocked for the editor role, but we definitely want to set this to enabled for the users in the department A role. So let's make sure that anyone who is in department A is enabled for editing this page. That looks good. I'm gonna click update and I will go back and repeat this process for department B. This time I'm going to set department B to enabled for this page. And I'm going to block the editor role. And one more time for department C. Department C is enabled and the editor is blocked. 
what I'm going to do now is test the user accounts I have set up. I have a plugin enabled which allows me to quickly test different user accounts. I'm going to switch to the department A user. There's a message making it clear that I'm using the department A account. And what we see here is access to almost nothing in the WordPress dashboard at all, except for the pages screen. And on the pages screen, you can see the department A page and nothing else. You cannot even see the pages you don't have access to. Now, my old account, my admin account, is editing this, but I can take over and I can make changes. It looks like this was successful. So we have created a very, very basic user who is able to log on to a WordPress site, see nothing, do nothing, except for see and edit this one single page. Let me test the other users quickly. Hopefully they are equally well set up. For the department B user, I'm going to switch to see what they see. Perfect. There's the department B page. And let me test the department C user. That was all really quick and easy. So now you can keep adding users to the department A, department B, and department C role, and you can keep adding pages as well. So if you do have a new page, this would be a new page for department A. Every time you add a new page, you get the choice of assigning it to one of the roles that you've created. Now when they log in, anyone who is in department A, doesn't matter how many users you add, anyone in department A will be able to browse the site and do nothing except for editing the two pages that you've given them access to. So this is a little example of why we say that published press can really improve your WordPress publishing. We use two plugins today, published press capabilities and Publish Press Permissions. Both of them have extra support and features that you can get from publishpress.com. We wish you all the best with setting up your WordPress site.